Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, Family Fun Fair is coming up, an Earth Day preview, some news from the ID card section, and more. But first, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center completed a two year project with a ribbon cutting ceremony on Wednesday. Three, two, one. <laughs> Project lead Lieutenant Colonel Glenda Swenson says Walter Reed and Bethesda are more tertiary facilities, and the National Capital Region needed more outpatient surgery centers. To the uh, interior decorating queen, uh, <laughs> queen thank of the you. OR, uh, Linda Swenson. Thank you very much thank for very all much. of all of your work. So, oh, thank yeah. you. Those are more uh, tertiary facilities, and you really don't want to bring your, your outpatient surgeries to a tertiary care facility. And it makes more sense for us to have an outpatient surgery center within the National Capital Region. The new operating suites include state-of-the-art equipment, including a nurse station control center, wireless monitors, video conferencing, and more. There's 320 degrees rotation capability within, within here, and um, because of the, the oxygen suction tubing that's in the system that you don't see, so that's why you can't go 360 degrees. According to Kimbrough officials, use of the clinic has grown by more than 30 percent in less than two years and is one of the most utilized surgical centers in the U.S. Army Medical Command. Turning to construction news, the project to install the water main along Mapes Road has started. This week there are several road closures to report. On Friday, April 20th, the right turn lane from MacArthur Road to westbound Mapes will close. Access to westbound Mapes may be made via Ruffner or Reese Roads. On April 21st and 22nd, that's Saturday and Sunday, both center lanes of the MacArthur Road and Mapes intersection will be closed. Access to the shop at and exchange mall will be available through Ruffner and Reese Roads. In any case, detour signs will be posted. As always, please use caution when navigating construction zones. Time now to reveal the winner of this year's Mead TV Pacern Military Housing's 2012 NCAA Sweet 16 Challenge. The winner is Kelly Newby, a Pacern resident, who says her husband was amazed. He went out in the first round and he didn't even know I played, and then all of a sudden he's like, whoa, wait a minute, you won? We're going to enter you next year for, for real, you know? So it was just kind of a whim. Saw it on the Facebook page and thought I'd enter. You guys are leaving soon, so money can come in handy, probably? Oh, yes. Money will definitely come in handy. It's a big trip all the way to Florida, so um, we're taking about three weeks leave. So we've got a lot of traveling to do in the meantime. Oh, so, yeah. that's great. You couldn't have come up with a better winner then. Yeah. Well, I just <laughs> want to say congratulations on behalf of the Public Affairs Office. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, Kelly mentioned that she doesn't follow college basketball at all. The rest of us pros will have to wait until next year. Meanwhile, Earth Day 2012 is coming up. Fort Meade is holding its annual festivities on Tuesday, April 17th. Here's a quick preview of what to expect. First of all, I want to recognize the uh, variety of vendors and exhibitors that we have here to do this. You know, we, we embarked upon a little bit of a different concept last year, and we had a great success on Earth Day. And this year we took it a, another step, and we're hoping for the best. The kickoff program is scheduled for noon at Burma Park, which will be followed by a ceremonial tree planting. At that point, everyone is invited to check out the interactive exhibits like oyster harvesting and native wildlife. Electric and hybrid vehicles will also be on display. A hot air balloon exhibit is also on the list of events. Dozens of vendors will be on hand advocating a green way of life. There's entertainment for the kids, refreshments courtesy of Pacern, and much, much more. A reminder, Earth Day is free and open to the public, so come on out and be green at least for a day. We'll take a look at Earth Day 2012 on next week's edition. In other news, the ID card section is announcing that their office will be closed for system maintenance on the last Wednesday of every month from 7.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Normal hours of operation for the ID card section are Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 3, and for common access or CAT cards, Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 1. Additionally, the ID card office is open the first Saturday of the month from 8 to noon on a walk-in basis. Once again, the ID card section has announced that they are closed the last Wednesday of the month from 7.30 to 12.30 for maintenance. A final reminder from DFMWR, the annual Family Fun Fair is coming up Saturday, April 28th from 10 to 2 at the McGill Training Center. Attractions include rides, games, music and martial arts demonstrations and more. The event is held each year in conjunction with the month of the military child and child abuse prevention awareness month. The Family Fun Fair is open to the public, it's free of charge and all ages are welcome. For details, go to www.ftmeadmwr.com. And that's it for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week.